Metric conversions. Knowing the units in the metric system will help you with your conversions. You can remember King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. Reminds you of the metric system. Kilo, hecto, deca. Meters, liters, and grams are your basic units. Deci, centi, and milli. All of these are powers of 10, which makes them easier. Your kilograms, kiloliters, and kilometers are all of your larger units. Your smaller units are your millimeter, milliliter, and milligram. For example, one meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. Times 10, times 10 gives you 100. Or one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. Or one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. So you can multiply and divide by powers of 10 up and down the chart as long as you remember the chart. You can use proportions or you can use the King Henry chart to convert. For example, 514 centimeters is blank meters. Well, first of all, setting up a proportion, you know, centimeters to meters. There's 100 centimeters in one meter. So we're trying to figure out 514 in is x meters. You can cross multiply or use equivalent fractions with these. We'll use a cross multiplications with this one. 514 equals 100x. Bring these down and set them equal to each other. So 100x equals 514. Now this is where your division and powers of 10 comes in handy. You know that when you divide by 100, here you'll isolate the variable. Those will cancel. But dividing by 100 here is so nice because now you know when you divide by 100, you can really just move your decimal. So the decimal right now in 514 is behind the decimal. Dividing by 100, you move your decimal back. So x equals 500, excuse me, 5.14 meters. In the same way, you can use your King Henry chart. King Henry, and I suggest writing it out each time. King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. These are your meters, liters, and grams. Be sure to write them in so that you know that this is meters and this is millimeters. In this case, we're going from centimeters to meters. So here's centimeters. We're going two meters. We're going to the left two times. So we have 514. Place your decimal. If you don't see your decimal, remember it's at the end of the number. Move your decimal back to the left two times and you come up with the same answer, 5.14 meters. In the same way, you can go millimeters to liters. In this case, you have 35 milliliters and you're changing to liters. Let's do our proportion, milliliters to liters. We know it takes 1,000 milliliters to make one liter. That's a large, extra large bottle of water. So 35 to x. Now this looks like a strange one, but just keep the same pattern. 1 times 35 is 35. x times 1,000 is 1,000x. Bring them down and set them equal to each other. 1,000x equals 35. Now, when you, to isolate the variable, you'll need to divide by 1,000 on both sides. These thousands will cancel, leaving the variable isolated. Now, can you divide 35 by 1,000? Sure you can. Again, you can use your powers of 10. The decimal right here is behind the 5. Move your decimal back three places this time, so x equals 0.035 liters. And doesn't that make sense? 35 thousandths of a meter. Using the King Henry, you could do King Henry died unexpectedly, meters, liters, and grams. Drinking chocolate milk, you're going from milliliters to liters, one, two, three places to the left. 35, here is your decimal, move it 3 to the left, fill in your decimal, and you have 0.035 liters.